The SoftTube Summit Audio EQF100 Full Range Equalizer is a digital model of the passive tube equalizer made by Summit Audio. This software is to be used as a plugin inside of a DAW and supports VST, VST3, audio units, AX native, AX DSP, and RTAS plugin formats. I'm going to be demonstrating the controls, features, and sound of the plugin by processing an acoustic guitar track. Right now I have the plugin in bypass mode. What I'm going to do is play you back the sound of the acoustic guitar without any processing being done by the plugin. So what you've been hearing is a recording of a Martin acoustic guitar with a microphone pointed at the 12th fret of the neck and that uh, signal then going into Pro Tools. I've got a little bit of compression going on to level out the dynamics of the signal, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on the frequency response or the tone of the signal. And that's where the equalizer comes in. Let me go ahead and click Bypass now so the plugin is going to be processing the signal. There's a few things that I noticed when I was listening to it. The first thing is that the low end needs a little bit of work. It's a little bit too boomy. There's a few ways to go about shaping that part of the signal. The first thing with the plugin is that there's a high pass filter going on over here. And it has four different settings. You have out, which means there's no processing or no high pass filtering going on. And you have three different frequencies. 27 hertz, 47 hertz, and 82 hertz. Because this is an acoustic guitar, you're probably not going to hear a whole lot of work being done by the plugin to roll off the low frequencies until I get up to around 82 hertz. But I'll play it back and go between these different settings so you can hear how it sounds. So at 82 hertz, it's doing a little bit of work. It's taking out a little bit of the low end, but I still think I need to do a little bit more. And that's where the first of the four bands of EQ comes in that I've got over here as these controls. You'll see in the top left that this is a low frequency component, and you can either switch between a low shelf or a bell by this switch right here. Then you have a low mid portion, a high mid portion in the top right, and then finally a high shelf or a high bell that you can switch using uh, this switch over here. The basic controls of the EQ are very similar to what you might find on a typical or conventional EQ, but there's a few things that are a little bit different. For instance, if you want to boost or cut, you have to use this switch here. And so the gain control in the boost position is going to increase the gain from 0 to 10, with 10 being the largest boost and 0 being no boost. Then with cut, it's the opposite. 0 means you're not cutting at all, but then as you increase that to 10, then you're, in, you're cutting more and you're decreasing the volume. So that might not be intuitive if you think that uh, whether you're boosting or cutting, what the gain should be doing, but that's how it works. Then with the bandwidth control, it doesn't really tell you what the how that's affecting the Q, but the idea is with the bandwidth, 0 is a setting for the narrowest bandwidth, and 10 is the largest bandwidth or a wide Q. Then you have fixed EQ settings that you can switch between, so you don't have variable EQ control, but the frequencies that are selected are pretty much spot on for what you would want to use anyway. So let's revisit the sound of the acoustic guitar. I've ro rolled off a little bit of the low end, but I still think I need to do a little bit more. So what I'm going to do here is use this low shelf, find some frequencies by uh, setting the gain maybe around 5, sweeping through the frequencies and finding which ones are accomplishing enough gain reduction of the low frequencies.
So you can hear by, by increasing the gain, I'm actually cutting more of the low frequencies or decreasing the gain when it's on this cut setting. But just to show you what it sounds like, I'll switch it over to boost so you can hear that. That's how I like that. Next, I'm gonna use the low mids actually as another cut, and I'm gonna use it as a bell. Here, you don't really have a choice. I'm gonna start out in the boost position, in the plus position. I'm gonna find the frequency that kind of resonates a little bit too much with a sharp cue. I'm gonna boost initially to hear the frequencies that I don't like, and then switch it over to the out so I can cut those. Next up, I'm going to use the upper mid range to boost some of my signal. I'm going to use a pretty wide Q setting here so I can boost a fair amount of frequencies all at the same time. This time, I'm going to increase the gain a little bit. Again, look for the frequencies that I like and uh, then adjust the gain um, and work these two back together. Finally, I'm going to use a high shelf to add a little bit of that high-end shimmer or air to the acoustic guitar signal. Again, by boosting, it's on the high shelf. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and use this low-pass filter to take off a little bit of the high-end because I don't want it to be too bright, but at the same time, still have enough presence in the mix. The last control that I haven't demonstrated is the output volume. You can adjust this to decrease the volume or increase it depending on if you need to make up or uh, reduce the gain in your signal if you get any clipping according to the equalizer. That's all the controls of the uh, the EQF 100. Again, it's a great equalizer, very smooth sounding curves, very musical. You can use it on individual instruments or also across your whole mix.